going on guys today is thursday september 19th 2024 and we have 43 days before we launch the all dreams platform to amateur athletes worldwide today the dreamers vault spotlight is a young guy that man i really really love this kid man um his name is miguel I met Miguel in May of 2022. Miguel's story is one of the reasons why I landed here in Cartagena, Colombia. I met Miguel in his neighborhood after I filmed with a, a guy named John Davis who gave up on his dream to play soccer because he had to work on the beach. And if you've watched any of my content if you've been along this journey you've probably heard this story before i met john davis the very first time i came to cartagena on vacation and i asked could i film with him after he told me that he wanted to play soccer but he gave up on that dream to play soccer because he had to support his family and he had to work on the beach after filming his story he took me to his barrio where I met a bunch of kids. And one of those kids was Miguel and Miguel's mother. And I still have a relationship with Miguel and his mother today. Miguel has, you know, we've helped Miguel. We've launched a, a, a all dream slugger uh, clothing collection for Miguel. They've sold tons of shirts in order to support his dream. Miguel was one of the first athletes that we supported we had somebody else support him for his training we supported his training as well and he is a pioneer of this platform so big shout out to miguel he's around 17 now and he's still going after that dream to play baseball and we're hoping and we're praying we can help him get to the united states get an education and possibly take his dream to become whatever he is going to become if you have an amateur athlete that you're supporting you want to sign them up today at dreamervault.com sign up to be a beta tester i'm serious this is going to be so massive that people are going to get lost in the sauce i know a lot of you guys aren't listening right now um and you're like hey this is who is this guy trust me all of the people that are going to overlook, you're going to circle back and you're going to be on a platform. So you might as well just come on because, look, we're here to support athletes' journeys in one dedicated place, get them financial support, help them build a community. This is what All Dream Sports is. We are here to support 1 million athletes by 2033. Uh, if you watched the last video, wow. Wow. What if and why not us to own that land on the coast to build All Dream Sports Academy? What a story that would be. What a story that would be. Um, it's going to take a lot of work. I've never been afraid of a lot of work. I've never been afraid of the grind. I've never been afraid of none of that shit. So... But it's chilling to see the possibilities and to think the possibilities and to visualize the possibilities of what that could be. Man, man, a kid, a kid from Eastside, Buffalo, New York, now a man. Um, wow, what that would mean for athletes, what that would mean for my family, what that would mean for Emmanuel and his family what that would mean for Colombia, what that would mean for the United States. Man, uh, wow, 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 wow. Why not us? That's what I say. Why not us? We can do it, and we're going to do it. I want to put that energy into the world. We're going to do it. Why not us? Guys, I, look, and I have to be honest, it's so big, it's so massive that I'm afraid of it. But we don't want to get off track. First and foremost, foremost is the All Dream Sports platform 
we have to get athletes on there sharing their you know sharing their sharing and documenting capturing storing their sports journey uh, we have to have people that are supporting these athletes. We have to have these athletes build in their community. And that's what we're going to do, right? That's first and foremost. That's the first line of business. But we always have to have the next step here and the vision for where we're going to take this. Uh, just a regular day today. We have like so many plots, so many different opportunities of land that like i said is going to happen it's just about where okay it's going to happen it's just about where um working on a pitch deck today <laughs> i know i said this like 10 videos ago uh but all of these things is progressive because as a founder i'm doing so many things at one time like sometimes i had to put something aside to go back to be like, okay, let's dive in and do some deep work on this. So that's what uh, I'm doing today. Last night I didn't play basketball, man. It was I should have because it was really really competitive. And I met a guy named Francisco Coda from Italy. Very very good player. He played in Italy as a professional. Um, he's only 32, and now he's a YouTuber and he travels. And makes videos uh, about the dangerous places in the world. So, man. Uh, but his content is in Spanish or uh, Italian. So, I, it's really, really good content. But I can't understand it. So, um, yeah, it was cool meeting him. Man, competitive run. Friday, I will be there to play. Other than that, guys. Just a regular Thursday in the office. And um, excitement. And uh, yeah, that's what it is. Peace, man. Peace. See you guys tomorrow.